It honestly looks like it might rain today, but Germany, don't you dare pull some garbage like that. And then this morning, I also had a quote back from Dr. Wheel about fixing the crack in my Zauber. You guys have seen the crack, it's like maybe this big. It's a super tiny little crack. He says it'll be about 200 euro, maybe more, which I think that's way too much money to fix a crack that's this big. So we're gonna have to try to find another option. Maybe JB weld it, I don't know, but I'm having the worst luck trying to find someone to weld this little tiny crack up. And then I find somebody and then, I don't know, 200 just seems like a lot of money for a crack that's this big. So. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. Then for those you haven't seen yet, right here, this is the crack. It goes from the edge of the barrel right there to about right here. It's literally, it's that big. I think $200 to weld this is a bit excessive. So we'll see. One day the, uh, the sidewalks will go back on Miley. One day. For anyone who didn't see yesterday's video, we got ourselves Roof racks and a roof box. How cool is that? And it's an old school Kami one. Very cool. And also, the spoilers on the car. Oh, this is sick. So today we're heading to the BX to grab some paint so I can go ahead and paint this black to match everything else. Because the white looks a bit, it's not bad, but it's a little bit off place. Ooh, that's a little, a little VR6 action. Oh my God, is that a Supra? Catch it, catch it. Oh my God, is that a Supra? It's a Supra. Race him. Race him right now. We're on a one. We're he's got a, he's got templates on, so he's military. I haven't seen that one yet, but it's quite nice. So unfortunately, we're all out of trim paint, which is super sad, but I got some of this uh, flat black Krylon, so hopefully this will match with my trim paint. For the most part, I think it should, and it should be fine for the um, the plastic box, so use this for today at least. If Rustolian would just sponsor me and send me just like a container of trim paint, we wouldn't have this problem, but they have yet to do so. So until then, we will uh, we'll just wait. I found it. That is the loud one, I think. No, it's gonna quiet now. That has to be the one, though. That has to be. Th There's no other 570s around here, I don't think. I don't hear it at all, but that has to be the one. All right. Even though we just put this on yesterday, trying to pull it back off and get everything all sprayed and match the rest of the car. I'm gonna paint the rails themselves because they're a little bit faded and kind of worn. So we'll spray these, we'll spray this, and everything to be all matchy matchy. It was also super cool that we found the actual tools for the roof box and the roof rails themselves. So this tool here is really cool. It has a little gauge right there. So you can see how far you should turn it to the right, uh, right tightness. So once you unlock this, you pull this out. This will go in and you can go ahead and simply loosen or tighten that up. And then the keys here simply work open this and then you simply just pop out the lock itself bam right. wait i haven't done anything yet don't go here grab the racks like under yeah and then flip right up good no wait, you're, 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 you're too far. Yeah, your little short arms <laughs> all right now with our box off i can go through and wash a little bit because there's a bit of uh dirt and stuff all over it and then once it's cleaned up we're gonna prep for some paint i also got to pull these uh these stickers here off. Hopefully they come off pretty easily. And then she's ready to be sprayed. I actually decided I'm gonna go ahead and remove um, the rails from the box so I can paint them separately because I, I want to be able to paint the entire rail and like flips over to be a paint. So we're gonna go ahead and just undo, I think these are tens. Yeah, we're gonna undo all these tens and separate the uh, the roof box here from the actual rails. Saying goodbye to our little friend here. I think I'm gonna pull this off in one complete piece. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, oh, we might have it. We might just have it. Yes. How satisfying is that? These ones might be a little bit harder. This is, it is actually from 93. This is a super old sticker. Hopefully they pull off as easy as this one did. Got our friend here a nice little home on the toolbox. If I can, I'm going to try and save all the stickers if possible. All right, for this. Man. Bam, all one piece. All right, last one. Just a nice. Look at that. Look how like untouched all these are. Like this is like what it is. Not like chalky and faded, but this is like all smooth, like never seen any type of weathering, nothing. Look at that, we got them all. 
the German stickers will live on. I'm actually gonna go ahead and wash this entire box because there's like a layer of like this like white chalky stuff. I wanna get all that off it before I paint and all this dirt and stuff in there. So we'll get it cleaned up. You know, seeing this roof box on the car is one thing, but then seeing it like stood up on end, you know, this thing is huge. Like, I'm not the tallest person in the world, but it's got like a good foot and a half, two feet on me. This thing's gigantic. Like an eight foot box, maybe? Seven, eight foot box? This thing's gigantic. But we'll let it dry. Once it's done drying, it's ready to be sprayed. As our box here finishes up drying, I'm also gonna go ahead and pop these little uh, push tabs out and give a nice fresh coat of uh, a fancy red. This box gonna look good. All nice flat black, fancy new red little push tabs. Should be looking good. First layer's down, looking kind of like a zebra, but we'll go back and fill in all those gaps. But the first light layer's on, roof racks as well, and along with the, um, the push tabs here in fancy bright red. Now at this point, we are one complete can in. I had to bust out the, uh, the handle grip here because my finger was starting to kill me. But we're getting there. Final can completed, four total cans. Looking really good. Got everything completely covered. Our push tabs are good. And then our roof rails are good as well. Gonna let it sit for probably about, I don't know, about an hour or so. Reassemble it and get it back on the wagon. The black looks mean though. I like it. All right, everything's nice and dry. I'm getting the roof rack put back on the box here. As soon as these are on, we'll put the little uh, push tabs in and we can put it back on the car. Look what I found. I found the original sticker on the inside of the lid here. So Cami Sports Box S. We have the little two approved right there. The load ratings made in Germany. I don't see an actual manufacturer date, but I'm sure if I search like this number or just sports box um, online, I'm sure to find a general idea. But how cool is that? I was actually able to find one online here. So originally it had the Sport Box S big old sticker on the side and also the Cami sticker as well, which mine doesn't have. I would like to get those. One in the back. And then one on the other side. It's kind of cool. It'd be cool to find these OG stickers. Very cool stuff. All right, we had the entire thing back together. It came out pretty good. This paint kind of dried inconsistently. I like the trim paint a lot more than this because trim paint, my how you spray it, always dries like completely smooth and even. Where this has some lines here and there. So, what I'll probably do, like, it's fine for right now. Um, but once I have trim it back in stock, I'll get a few cans and spray just over this since it's already black and make it all nice and even and one unifying tone. But other than that, it looks much cooler in the black versus the white. We have our cool little red tabs over here. I like it. I wanna get the um, the cami stickers, I think. But other than that, I like it. We'll go ahead and now throw the box back on the car and see how we like it. All right, boys, there she is. It's not bad. So that's way, way more of a flat black than the trim paint. The trim paint's more of a nice, like, semi-gloss kind of color where this is like, flat flat black and it just it dried so weird in some spots like right you can kind of see in camera right there dried super weird and splotchy i like the black but it just came out kind of mess so like i said once they have trim paint back in stock we'll go with that and i'll spray over this and make it all smooth and then it'll match this the spoiler rest of stuff all nicely i'm gonna grab the camera real quick there's a spot up the road i've been wanting to shoot for a long time and the sun's looking perfect so we're ahead of there real fast All right, here's our cool little spot for the end of the day. We're gonna shoot the R32 down this road and then got the wagon right here. Look at that sunset coming down. And then we're gonna go down this trail in a second. And there's a cool, like, giant stack of logs. Get some photos in front of that. Just a nice little racking. I mean, all this is like walking trails and stuff, but towards the end of the day, no one's here, so it's cool to stop and get some cool photos. I like the roof box itself. 
but the finish right now just it's not good the lines are driving me insane i don't like how it doesn't match the rest of the trim of the car just it's really frustrating so when i get home probably gonna take it off and then once i actually get some more trim paint we'll spray it again so it matches the rest of the car and has a nice even smooth tone because i don't know this, this is what happens when i don't use my trusty rustoleum my trusty trim paint i go and get krylon and it's just yeah it's just it can't compete krylon can't compete with my my trim paint so you live and you learn i like the black on the box better than the white but uh the finish just it's no good it's no good at all yeah roof box has to go like that section right there i just i can't look at it any longer it's driving me insane it's got a uh like all of this and i can't i can't do it it's gotta come off it's gotta go okay there we go i just feel i feel better now just looking at that the stripes and look, look at it oh just i thought i could handle it for a few days or so but like i can't i can't deal with it i don't know why it dried or laid so weird in some spots but like I said, it is what it is once i have some trim paint we'll sand this smooth and then we'll just do a nice layer of this and it'll look perfect but until then no uh nerve box just our spoiler which i love the spoiler all right you guys that'll be it for today's video hope you guys enjoy like i said we'll fix the roof box as soon as my precious trim paint is back in store i just need restoring to see what my videos and then sponsor me so i can just have countless amounts of trim paint on deck at all times. As always, don't forget, be thinking for every single day. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.